hello students so this video is about the next part of a solution chapter that is about some of the formula regarding the colligative property of a, a solutions okay so as we have studied in the theory part there are four colligative property we have studied that is relative lowering of a vapor pressure depression in freezing point elevation in boiling point and the last one is like a osmosis and the osmotic pressure okay here the questions that appear in your competitive exams are based on the formula okay so you have to remember the formulas to solve the problem that is been given in the exam okay that is for uh, cet and the neat so i have i have made a list of the um, formula over here okay so there is an easy way to remember some of the formula i'll just going to give a, a easy method how you can remember and how you can practice and how you can memorize the formula while doing the problems in the exam okay so the first property that i have taken is relative lowering of a vapor pressure rlvp means relative lowering of a vapor pressure okay so similarly elevation in boiling point represented by delta tb depression in freezing point represented by delta tf and next one is osmotic pressure that we are going to discuss so before that these points you have to remember compulsory okay so that is when w2 is written even i have told two means it is for solute one means it is for the solvent so w2 means weight or mass of the solute okay w1 means weight of a solvent m2 means capital m compulsory capital m2 means molar mass of the solute capital m1 means molar mass of the solvent one means solvent two means a solute Okay, now T not. I have told you not means it's for the pure solvent. T not B means the boiling point of a solvent. T B means the boiling point of a solution. Similarly, T F not means freezing point of a solvent. Here, T F means freezing point of a solution. P A means vapor pressure of a solution. P not A means vapor pressure of a solvent. So these points you should remember. Okay, so that you can understand the formula that has been given here. Now, for relative lowering of vapor pressure, it is nothing but the ratio of lowering of a vapor pressure to the vapor pressure of a pure solvent. P not A minus P A divided by P not A. Where P not A is a vapor pressure of a solvent. Always the vapor pressure of a pure solvent is more than that of a solution. Okay. So P not A minus P A divided by P not A. That is equal to this a difference is known as delta P. So delta P by P not A. So most of the questions will appear based on this one. Okay. See, M2 means the molar mass of the solute. The question might appear where W2 will be given, W1 will be given, the pressure of a solution in the solvent will be given, you have to calculate. Okay. So, you have to remember M2 is equal to W2 by W1, M1 into P0 A divided by P0 A minus P A. Okay. Now, just find the relation here. This RLVP is a colligative property. M2 means it is a molar mass of the solute. Always the colligative property is inversely proportional to the molar mass of the solute. This one point you have to remember. Colligative property is inversely proportional to the molar mass of the solute. More the molar mass, lesser will be the colligative property in that way. Okay, so you could observe if the uh, this colligative property is in the denominator where m2 will be in the numerator like that okay this is one and here concentrate on this formula okay i'll be back to that formula the next formula is elevation in boiling point means the change in the boiling point of a solution and the solvent that is denoted by delta tb that is tb minus t naught b tb means the boiling point of the solution minus t naught b means the boiling point of the solvent always the solution will be having a more boiling point than the solvent it is because solution consists of impurities here impurities are nothing but the solute particles okay here delta tb is directly proportional to the molality 
okay here molarity is not considered molality is considered because molality is temperature independent for that reason so delta tb is inversely proportional to molality so this formula this formula very easy okay next m2 is equal to w2 into 1000 into kb by w1 into delta tb w2 is you know and 1000 w1 kb means the ebullioscopic constant or boiling point constant okay delta tb is elevation in boiling point so consider these three terms over here okay these three terms next depression in freezing point that is delta tf tf minus t naught f the freezing point of the solution is always more than that of a freezing point of the solvent okay and delta tf is directly proportional to molality one and the same here okay and next again m2 is equal to w2 into 1000 kf divided by w1 into delta tf okay so kf is cryoscopic constant or freezing point constant delta tf is depression in freezing point okay here in this three equation you could consider m2 is equal to w2 by w1 w2 into m1 by w1 or w2 by w1 is common come to this w2 by w1 w2 by w1 okay so m2 is equal to w2 by w1 is common for all three colligative property okay into 1000 is common in case of these two okay so if you remember this one if you are calculating if the question comes on based on elevation in boiling point here what comes kb and down what comes it is delta tf or delta tb okay w2 by w1 into 1000 this is common okay kb means it is for the elevation in boiling point delta tb means elevation in boiling point so if i keep this common in place of kb if i write kf that is for the depression in freezing point okay so this is a method if you remember in a easy way so you can apply the formula and you can solve uh, more problems easily so w2 is equal to so m2 is equal to w2 by w1 into 1000 okay and kf delta tf here also you could observe as i told colligative properties inversely proportional to the molar mass of the solute so molar mass of the solute is here colligative property here so inversely proportional similarly molar mass of the solute is here colligative property here okay inversely proportional so these things you have to remember so these are like a compulsory uh, formula that if you remember this sequence it is very easy to calculate the colligative property and the one more property that has been left is osmosis and the osmotic pressure that is osmotic pressure is represented by pi okay pi is equal to crt this formula you had to remember pi is equal to crt pi is equal to c means is nothing but a concentration again here w2 by m2 rt by v okay so for a uh, molar mass calculation m2 is equal to w2 always comes to the numerator r is gas constant is temperature here it is pi into v so colligative property again is inversely proportional so you have to remember these all formula to solve okay and some more uh, problems will going to solve based on these four concepts then you will get a thorough with how you can use the formula over here